Hey guys, welcome back to another video where we are going to look at a feature which lets you create personalized views for consuming subset of records in the data tab in the data entity module. Back in 2017, we introduced data entities to enable citizen developers to rapidly model enterprise data without having any prior knowledge of SQL. Since then, thousands of citizen developers across the globe have used this feature to rapidly create enterprise apps. The number of rows in data entity, however, can grow fast based on the consumption and there would be eventually a need to see a subset of rows filtered based on a specific criteria. We provide this feature for end users and app owners using the form-based apps where you could create custom search views, filtered views easily and still would be the recommended approach as it takes the end user permissioning into consideration and presents a nicer UI. However, there are certain times when the app owners or admins might want to quickly view a filtered list of records directly on the data entity itself without having to create a search screen or a form-based app view. They are owners of the entity so they can navigate to the entity itself. It's just like an admin can go to SQL Server Management Studio and run queries instead of using search screen on the product UI knowing they have permission to the table. I'm pleased to announce as part of Agile Point NX version 8 software update to release, we have introduced new enhancement in the data entity module, specifically in the data tab, where app owners and admins can create multiple personalized views on the data records to improve the performance and also access very specific and very customized information from the larger data set. Let's look at this feature in action. So I'm in my demo environment right now. I'm going to navigate to App Builder, Data Entity. I'm going to open one of my entity which has a lot of records. So this is a streaming service entity which has a list of TVs and shows. I'm going to go to Data tab. So what you will see at the top is there are now new options available over here. So right now there are 460 records and as I mentioned some of them are TV shows, some of them are movies. I have various columns which are available over here. So I have title, director, cast, country, date added, release year, rating, duration, uh, description and li uh, listed in. So I have various fields over here. Now I'm going to start using the filter criteria first. So the filter criteria is actually split across four different sections. I'm going to minimize these so that you can see it. So there is filter configuration, filter values, group records and show and order fields. So I'm going to actually first use the filter configuration. You can limit the maximum number of records you want to bring down on a particular view. You can also order it by a specific parameter. So I'm going to say order it by title ascending. So it will show me all the titles in ascending order. So as you can see now it is ordered by uh, alphabetically over here. When I hover over my filter condition, it tells me what kind of a filter condition is already applied. So you can see there was a filter condition applied and on, on hover, I can quickly see it without having to open the filter. I'm going to open it. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter it based on values. So I'll say, show me only movies. Till now it was showing both movies and TV shows, show me only movies. So now you can see the number of records have reduced to 297 and this is all the list of movies which are available. So I'm going to again change my filter. I can further restrict it. I can say show me all the movies which were released between 2015 and say 2021. So I can specify multi multiple filter values. So now you can see it got further filtered out and if I go to the release year section, it is only showing me titles which were released between 2015 to 2021 over here. All of the rest of them have been filtered out. Okay, I'm going to actually clear the year from here. And next I'm going to go to the group by section. In the group by section, I'm going to say, show me these titles 
group by rating. Click apply. So now you can see all of the titles have been grouped by uh, their ratings over here. So I can see individual grouping uh, as well. And finally, I'm going to say I don't want to see all the fields over here, like show ID doesn't make sense. So can you disable it? Also maybe disable listed in and description. And maybe I want to change uh, the ordering of these things. I can say maybe show the title before the type. So I'm going to just say change the ordering over here and click apply. So as you can see now, the title shows before the type, the show ID is hidden and also is the other two columns like, uh, about description and listed. Okay, so now I've created my filter. I'm happy with this filter. What I can do is by default, there is a standard view which comes out of the box, but I can save it as a personalized view as well. I can click on save and say, this will be a view for movies. Right now, I'm not going to set it as a default view and it is visible to me only. Right now, these views are personalized views. In future, we are going to also open ability to create shared views as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click save. So again, in the drop down for views, now you see an additional view called movies, which is there. Now I can always export this view into an Excel sheet. I can click on export. I can see uh, the list of movies have been brought down. So there were around 297 titles. So those are all listed over here. Now next, what I'm going to do is how do I manage these views? I can always make additional filter changes to the view and click save. So those filter changes would be saved. I can clone a view to make a quick copy of it and make some changes, which I'm going to do next. I can always edit a view and change its name or set it as default over here. And I can delete a view as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do clone a view and I'm going to call it TV shows. I'll keep it as default view. And I'm going to modify the filter condition then instead of movies, show me TV shows and click apply. So now it is showing me all the TV shows. But remember, I have marked this as my default view right now. So what happens with uh, because of that? So if I navigate away, I'm going to first just quickly save this before navigating away. Now if I navigate away to my home page, come back to this view again. Go to data tab. You see now the TV show view became my default view. Now I can always delete a view. Since I deleted the default view, if I go to the home page, come back to that entity, go to data tab, the standard view became my default view because the default view was deleted it, itself. So with this, app owners can quickly create personalized views within the data tab in the data entity module. Thanks a lot for your time.